Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 91. Hey guys, welcome back. I have got a lot of stuff to share with you guys. It's been two weeks since I filmed, and um, I do have quite a few finished objects, but the majority of what I'll be showing today, today is a huge mail haul that I just got this morning. And uh, I'll save that for last because it's it's a lot. <laughs> But I do have quite a few finished objects I want to share with you guys. I have one whip, but it's over there. And it's the same thing as one of my finished objects. So I'll mention that when I get there. But I'm going to hop on in. Um, I don't know if I'll have a video up next week because... Or no catch name video. That will be vlogs still. Um, because my craft fair is coming up. So I'm doing... You know, I'm like hardcore working on getting everything prepped for that. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hop into my finished objects this week. I'm just going to grab from the stack because I have a huge stack here. And my first one, I don't know if I can put this on because I got um, my hair put up, but I made a rosy wrap. <laughs> I made this because Cindy from Cindy Hart's uh, Crochet um, had like a call to make them, you know, uh, in pink and then post a picture for breast cancer awareness because October is breast cancer awareness month. So I made this rosy wrap and this rosy wrap is a free pattern free video tutorial by Randy from Randy's Random ran Ramblings. <laughs> is that right? I always say that wrong. Where is it? I don't have it on there. But I'll, I'll, it'll be in the description box. Um, but yeah, it's super quick and easy uh, pattern. And you can use a scrap ball usually. This is this was a scrap ball that I had of Red Heart Shocking Pink. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. But I love it. I have a red one also somewhere. I like it because in when it's cool it's good for ears and then it's cute also on top of that. So that's the rosy wrap from Randy. Very easy pattern. Okay, uh, my next finished object, I actually have two, four, six of them. And these are little tiny amigurumis. Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast for her Vlogtober. She is doing other things among and also, what am I trying to say? Also, along, <laughs> she's sharing um, little tiny patterns that she's doing by Happy Berry crochet which is here on YouTube and it's free uh, video tutorials. I'll link the two that I'm going to talk about in the description box. But uh, her first one was little turtles so I made some little turtles just with scrap yarn. This is a uh, cafe latte and a red heart tweed. I made two like that I think. There's the second one. And then I made two with cafe latte and red heart camo. Just little tiny turtles. Cute little turtles. <laughs> And then I made, this is, and I love this yarn scrap. I can't remember the color, but it's, I know it's all of this yarn. And this is that same yarn, just different part of the ball. And some perfect pink, I think, uh, red heart. Just little turtles. Little tiny turtles. <laughs> and another one that she shared, um, I think it was her second day, or third day, was Happy Berry also, and it was a crochet sun. This technically isn't 100% finished. I got a stitch on a face. I just haven't done that yet. And my one whip is another one of these. I have, I'm on the orange part. I just, Devin was leaving for work and then I came to start filming. So it's just sitting on the couch over there. But, um, there'll be another one of these in the next video. But they're just cute, quick little, uh, amigurumi patterns. They don't take much fiber fill. And, um, Terry's using size 3 yarn. But I use worsted weight because that's pretty much what I have on hand. And I'm just trying to use up some scrap balls that I have laying around. Alright, this one you saw in the last video, I just started it, um, but now it's finished, and it is another jellyfish. There's the head and the tentacles. This is by One Dog Wolf. It's a free tutorial. This yarn is Red Heart, I think it's Ocean. I got it at the thrift store, and it didn't have ball band, but I looked it up after people told me. But yeah, so this was just the head last, last time. It wasn't even stuffed, it was just the head. So it's all done now. I love these jellyfish. This pattern's super fast and easy. And I love these curlicues because they're super easy. You just basically chain as many as you want and do the pattern. And I usually like this one and I made another one, but I showed it last week. The green one. They're good to take like with you when you go somewhere because you can just work on these little tentacles and you know, sitting around waiting for an appointment or while you're at someone's house or something. They're just really quick little time fillers. <laughs> Yeah, so super cute. I am going to get some hooks. I'm going to go to Walmart probably tomorrow and try to find some little hooks that I can just kind of slip into my jellyfish so that I can hang them up for my craft fair. And then when someone buys them, I will just take the hook out. Or if they want it, I guess they can have it. I don't really care. 
there's my jellyfish. And then also made with that same bowl of Red Heart Ocean, I made this little fish, which is called the Amigurumi Funny Fish Plush <laughs> by uh, Jen. I can't pronounce her last name, but the pattern will be linked below. I just thought it was a cute little fish pattern. And the eyes are Red Heart White and Black. Just a cute little fish. Really cute. I'd actually like to make some more of these. If I had more time for the craft fair, I would make some more of these. But this one's going to have to do it because I'm running out of time. <laughs> Super quick and easy and uh, didn't really take much yarn. Alright, I got two more finished objects to share. These were made with um, Knit Crate yarn that I received. They're Knitology and I left the ball bands somewhere. I don't know where I did with the ball bands. But another Knitology. And uh, this was the August Crates. So I made this uh, cowl, which I'll put on. It is an adaption to Bag of Days. The Bag of Day uh, pattern is a free video tutorial. It's called Wide Neck Bandana Cowl. And um, I followed the video tutorial for the granny part. And then up at the neck part, let me fold it up. Uh, you make the big granny, it's kind of like a little tiny shawl, a little square or a triangle shawl. And um, you do a single crochet border along the top, and that's where you work the neck from. What I did is um, her pattern, it is 82 stitches across. I decreased it down to 56. And then, because uh, I like my cows closer to my neck, and then I went ahead and finished her pattern, uh, except I didn't make the, what's this called? The ribbing a little bit shorter because I was running out of my second, or my first, um, cake of yarn and I didn't really want to crack into the second one because at first I wasn't planning on making another thing but then I ended up so I might go back and make this um, ribbing a little bit longer but I just wanted the original one the neck was really wide like it would have been down here and I prefer bug <laughs> I prefer my cows to be closer to my neck because I want them to actually keep me warm <laughs> and uh, so I just did that one alteration I just did one row of decreases and what I did is on the 82 when there's 82 chains is I just single crochet or I decreased and then single crochet decreased single crochet all the way down to the end into the last one I single crocheted into it and I think I had to add one stitch to make it an even number because when I first did that it was uh, 55 and it needed to be an even number for the ribbing to work out right so I just threw another stitch in there and uh, went on with the ribbing and I think it looks great it looks fine it's pointy down here I just can't get it on the camera and then with the rest of the yarn that I had because you get to um, that month you got two of the Hanks <laughs> I made a headband and this is another adapted pattern <laughs> if you can see it it is I think it's called the moss stitch or something like that it's where you put a single crochet and a half double crochet in a space in the same space and then you skip one and then you do that and you skip one all the way down and then you chain one turn and do it the back the back the other way I'm not gonna explain but this the pattern that I adapted was another free video tutorial on YouTube and it is called the Hope Ear Warmer by Yarn and Chai and the only thing I did different is I had to decrease the chain the starting chain dramatically she has for an adult size head to chain 89 and when I chained 89 around my head I had like this much space so I went down to the teenager size and the child size and this is the toddler size of her pattern this is a toddler size <laughs> I don't know if my gauge is way off from hers or my tension or, or if her math is wrong or something I'm not sure but according to her this is the toddler size um, headband and I think part of her pattern is you're supposed to like cinch it and I just didn't want to do that I just wanted to leave it full because I wanted you know I like the way it looked that way but uh, I like it to cover my ears because uh, in the winter you know it's cold and so I did follow her pattern almost exactly I just changed the starting change chain size did the toddler size <laughs> And uh, I think I didn't do as many rows of this because I wasn't going to cinch it down. I just wanted it to stay open. So I think it turned out good. And I think they look good together. And I look forward to wearing them this winter when it gets cooler. But there it is up close. Let me hold it. It's really pretty. And this yarn is super, super de duper pretty. I loved it when I got it. And I love it even more now when it's worked up. It's just really pretty yarn. And I do have some left actually got quite a bit left this is the second hank that I wound into a cake and um, I could probably get some more ear warmers out of it but what I might actually do is go back and add some more 
ribbing onto my cowl and then go from there. I will try to find a way to use up the rest of this. If not, I will put it in some scrap project or make some amigurumi, little tiny amigurumis or something. I don't know. I will use it. But uh, I really like this yarn. It's super washed merino. I'm trying. It says it's a worsted, but it's a super thin worsted. It's more like a DK. So I kind I treated it as a DK when I was working with it. So I used a smaller hook and all that. And um, actually, that's another thing I changed on this cow. The pattern is with a J hook, and I did the grain square part with a J hook, but I went down to an I hook for the um, the cow part of it uh, because I wanted it, you know, tighter and closer to my neck. But I love this pattern, and I might make some more in different colors because I got a lot of yarn in there that I need to use up. And um, I love cowls better than shawls. I like the smaller things. I like scarves and cowls and shawlettes and stuff like that because it's easy to wear with a jacket. Just stick it on your neck, and then you can put your jacket around it, and it's nice and cozy. But yeah, so those are my last two uh, finished objects. All right, I lied. <laughs> I actually do have four more finished objects. I can't show two of them because they're pattern designs that I've designed that are being tested right now and they won't be out until a couple weeks from now and then I'll put them out. One of them, I can show you two of them. They're, they're the same thing. It's the same thing. I just made it twice because I had to make the prototype and then the second one was to take pictures for the pattern. But I already got it tested and I'm releasing it today. By the time this video is out, it will be active in my Etsy shop and while it's active, it'll be, I mean, while it's active today and the next week, it's going to be 30% off. Uh, I'm probably going to do that forever. With all the patterns I release the first week that they're out, they'll be 30% off. And then go back to full price after that. And then maybe random sales and giveaways and stuff um, throughout the rest of the time. But I wanted to show you guys my newest Halloween pattern. <laughs> and technically it's two, and I'll explain that in a second. But here it is. Ta-da! <laughs> It is a jack-o-lantern jack snail. Jackal snail is what I'm calling it. I'm going to only hold up one. It's got its big googly eyeballs. A head and his body. I love Tim Burton. So these are Tim Burton inspired colors. Uh, black and white and orange. He always uses a lot of black and white and then contrasting colors. And um, you know I like that because I've always loved Tim Burton. Always will. And then there's two jack-o-lanterns. This one does have a little... Stump? I don't know what that's called. It's not really a stem. I guess maybe it is a stem. But that's my snail pattern that is released today if you're interested. It's in my Etsy shop which will be linked below. And I'm also going to release separately the jack-o'-lanterns. And these are three separate things that's been sewn together. Um, so if you want to buy this pattern, don't buy this one and also the jack-o'-lantern because it's the same exact jack-o'-lanterns. So if you just want the jack-o'-lanterns, you can buy the jack-o'-lantern pattern. But if you want the snail and the jack-o'-lanterns, just buy the snail because it comes with the jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. But, um, yeah. I love it. I think he's super cute and Halloween-y. <laughs> and, yeah. He's pretty... I would I would rate this an intermediate um, pattern, amigurumi pattern, just because it starts off down here really small. And that could be really complicated for some people. It is using a smaller hook and uh, tighter stitches. And there's some shaping in the body right here to get it facing the right direction. But other than that, it's pretty easy. The pumpkins are super easy. Uh, just basic stitches. And yeah, I think it's cute. I like it. Devin likes it. And if all the testers liked it. So <laughs> I hope some other people like it. If not, that's fine. But that's my Jekyll snails. <laughs> I love their eyeballs. I will probably use the same eyeballs in a future pattern for something. Because I love these eyeballs. But yeah, if you're interested in that, it'll be in the description box. The link to my shop. And they are going to be 30% off until next Saturday. Well, next Sunday, which will be the 13th, I think. I think so. <laughs> but uh, they're going to be $4, so 30% off of that. And then after next weekend, they'll go back to $4. But yeah, so I wanted to share that with you guys real fast. So these are my other two finished objects. And i got to get them priced and all that for my shop. I'm going to throw them in my shop. Let's stick them in the bookshelf right now. I have no room to put anything. Alright, next we're going to talk about Knit Crate. I got September's Knit Crate super late because of the hurricane stuff was originally the reason they were delayed. And then the second reason they were delayed is because they ran out of boxes. They had to, I guess, order more from wherever they get their boxes from. But I didn't want to make a separate video because it's so late. I'm hoping I get the October one still on track. If I do, I should get it uh, next week sometime. Okay, so this month's extra was a little pin. It's a yarn ball with knitting needles stuck in it. 
and I forget what that's called. It's like oil slick. It's like rainbowy colors. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably give that away because I don't really knit, and I'll just send it to someone who I know that does knit. And then the pattern book. I'm not gonna go in depth in this because I'm sure you guys have already seen it because this is, you know, I just now got it. So, and everybody else said that. All right, the color that I got. Move the box. I got there's really pretty da -da -da, tilly blue color. It's not exactly that color. It's more green in real life. It's more of a green till in real life to me than it's coming out on screen. <laughs> but it's really pretty. It's the Yura yarn. It is Silk DK and the colorway is Enlightened. It's 85% merino wool and 15% silk. DK weight 300 yards. So there's 600 yards here of pretty till yarn. It's so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to make with this. It's really pretty. They also had a purple color and a gray color. I would have been happy with either of them. If I got the purple one, I would have probably gave it to someone that I know that really likes purple. And the blue and gray, I will probably make a gift for someone out of since it's getting gift season. But, uh, yeah, it's really pretty. I'm happy with it. Squishy, squishy. I can't wait to get October's. I hope I don't get it super late. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world if I do. It's all good. So, that was my knit crate this month. All right, next is mail. <laughs> I got a lot of mail to show you guys. I'll start with a smaller package that I got. This new crate box don't want to stay shut. All right, it's all spread out in this box. This is my box that I throw stuff in to share with you guys. And it's all, all spread out because uh, it was in a box that I already broke down and recycled. But this happy mail came from Bernice. Um, she just, she basically said that she was cleaning and came across some stuff and she thought I could use it. So she sent it to me. Thank you, Bernice. And I love it all. <laughs> and it's been set in this box. And now after today, I will organize it and put it up where it needs to go. So first she sent me a bunch of zippers and some snap closures, which I have to learn how to use the snap closures. But maybe I will start making bags with them eventually. Three, four, five, six. So she sent me six. These are white um, six inch zippers. I got them separate because I use 7 inch zippers for my notion bags, but I will still use these. I can make different shaped notion bags. I'm just trying to keep them separate so I don't accidentally grab the wrong zipper when I'm working on a bag. And then she sent me some 7 and I think 9 inch zippers. Just a bunch of different ones. They were in packaging. I just opened them already because I'm going to, when I get done filming, I'm going to put them in my big zipper box. But there's some browns and whites and cream color ones. And then she sent me, I don't know what these two things are. I'm not sure. I have to figure out what these are. Does anyone know? Because I have no idea what they are. Some kind of something? I don't know. But she sent me a bunch of these. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 sets of these magnetic, magnetic snap closure things for bags, which are really cool. I'm going to try to figure out how to use some of these soon. And put maybe make some bags specifically with these in one. Yeah, so she sent me those. Um, I got. I can't wait to use them. I look forward to it. I've never made snap bags. I've had bags with these fixtures on them before, so it'll be neat to use them. So thank you, Bernice, for that. And I will definitely get a lot of use out of this stuff for sure. These zippers, and then I will figure out how to make the snap bags. All right, <laughs> the next one. Let me make my knit crate. And I got my big box down here to put them all in. I got a huge, huge, huge happy mail today from a, a viewer named Teresa. And she sent me two cards because she sent me two boxes. And each box had a card in it. And these are really pretty cards. I'll show you the pictures on the cards. There's one. And the other one is this way. But she basically said that she enjoys my channel and that she had a bunch of extra yarn and thought she would share it with me and um she said for me to feel free to use it as i wish so i will probably use a lot of this yarn and i might also give some of it away like i said nope that was in vlogtober <laughs> i was gonna say like i said earlier but that was in a different video um i will probably use some of this for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway when i hit that which i'm super close to and maybe some of it for the 100 anniversary or not anniversary 100 episode which should be in november slash january ish i mean december <laughs> i can't speak i'm all frizzled but let's get on with the yarn there's so much of it oh my gosh 
All right, so I'm just gonna hop in. I'm just gonna grab the ones that's closest to me. She sent so much yarn, it's not even funny, guys. I was so shocked when I opened it. When I first opened the big box that she sent, I was like, what is that, fiber fill or something? And Devin put, helped me pull it out of the bag, and when we opened it, he was like, it's yarn. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's Red Heart Colorscape, and this colorway is Munich. Munich is what this is. <laughs> but it's really pretty uh, earthy tones, uh, neutral tones. I actually got some of this on clearance, and it looks like she did too. But it wasn't this color. So this is a really pretty color. I think my mom would like something out of this. This is, is this 100% something? What is this? 100% acrylic, but it's really soft and pretty. And then same brand, different color. This one is Rome. These are really pretty too. Oh, these are all pretty. Two of those. Two of these ones. This one is Montreal. Ah, oh, so pretty too. <laughs> and then two of this one, Shanghai. Really pretty yarn. <laughs> okay, and then she sent five of these. These are Yarn Bee Delish Boutique, and she also got it on sale, which is awesome. This is a size 3. It is 90% acrylic, 10% alpaca, and 590 yards. That's a lot of yarn. But she sent five of those, so there's two of them. Two more. Really pretty. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to make with any of this stuff. I have to do a lot of digging. And then, let me go ahead and get this. I'm excited about this because I'd never even heard of this until someone mentioned it the other day that Crystal was talking about it. Sorry, I'm getting close to the camera. But this is called Boing. It's Lime Bread Boing. I've never even heard of it. And it feels really interesting. And I can't wait to make something with it. But it is 94% um, acrylic, 5% polyester, and 1% other. It's a 5 bulky. And there are 76 yards per uh, ball. That's one. Civic is that color, I think. And there's a blue one called... Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I'm going to have a hard time saying it. Met Metopolis. <laughs> I can't even say it. I know what word it is, I just can't pronounce it. It's like a blue color. And then there's this one, which is called Gateway. That's a really pretty one. I have no idea what to make with it because it's really weird yarn. It's like boing, 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 boing. <laughs> and then there's two of this one. Opal. Really pretty. I have no idea. Seriously, if you have suggestions or if you've had this yarn and made something with it, let me know. But it's boing. Boing, 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 boing. Alright, and then she sent three of these, which I already know what I'm going to do in these. I'm going to give these to the girl that I babysit because I bought a bunch of these for her uh, when it was on sale. And it's I Love This Yarn Sport Weight. She got it on sale too, which is awesome. And it's coral. It's coral color. <laughs> but I gave the girl I babysit a whole bunch of these, so I'm going to probably give her these three too in case she needs some more. Alright. Just grab these ones. These are more that was in the Hobby Lobby sale. These are Baby Bee Sweet Delight, and this color is called. What is this color called? It's 60% acrylic, 40% polyamide, size 3, Wild Strawberry. Really pretty pink color. It's not quite that pink, it's a little bit duller of a color. Three of those. And I love this one. Same yarn. This one's called Tangerine. This is a really pretty orange color. I'm keeping that for sure because it's pretty. And this is another pink one, but this is a different shade. It's called Baby Red. See, that looks just like the strawberry one, but this one actually is a darker one. The strawberry one was a lighter color. All right. I told you guys it's a lot. <laughs> All right, she sent me also two balls of Red Heart Stripes, Neon Stripes, which I love this. I have a... A hat and scarf set made out of this, and I think mittens. She sent three red heart stripes, bright stripes, which is kind of like neon stripes, but the color changes are bigger. I have a scooty made out of that. And she sent two of red heart stripe color stripe. I've not had this one, but I'm excited because I love these. Blues and greens are my favorite colors together, and this is blue and green. And then she sent one of Favorite Stripe, which I have three already. 
of this myself. So that's enough now to make something bigger. And then two, I've never seen this one. This one's called Preppy, Preppy Stripe. This is like a a duller color. Like usually the stripes are bright and this one's like a duller one. I've never seen this one before. That's cool though. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, let's just get me some regular Red Heart Super Savers, which are always welcomed because that's my main yarn that I use for amigurumis and stuff. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so much yarn. All right, I got a jumbo of black, which is always needed. I go through black and white yarn like that. I'm already, recently I bought three balls of black and I'm already almost out. Because as an amigurumi maker, you use black and white all the time. Eyeballs and accents and stuff. And then she sent me two of the regular size ones of patty green, which is a nice dark green, which is awesome for Christmas and St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Trees, anything like that. And then I got two small or regular size balls of soft navy. Uh, it's a little bit different color than that. My camera's not picking up good, but it's a pretty navy color. And I've never actually had soft navy before. My, the stores on here don't carry it, so it's a different shade of navy blue, which is cool. And I think this is a jumbo ball of it. Yeah, this is a jumbo ball of the same color. So excited. And this one I don't have either. This is Super Saver Dark Orchid. It's a little bit darker in your life. And then I don't think I have this one. And then I know this one is red hot. Nope, no it's not. I lied. It's cherry red. <laughs> okay, now that is not the right color. It's a dark red. It's cherry red. That looks like red heart on the camera. Red hot. But it's um, cherry red. Which I use all the time. All my Christmas stuff. Pretty much all my anything made out of red heart red is that color. And then there's shocking pink. This is a different shocking pink than I'm. Maybe that one thing wasn't shocking pink. Maybe it was bright pink. This is shocking pink. This is more like a fuchsia. And then this is Red Heart with Love, which I love. And this is Boysenberry. It's more like this color back here than it is this color up here. <laughs> okay, my box is full. I'm gonna move it back. All right, I gotta reach. Okay. I'm almost done. All right, then she sent me two big old balls of Big Twist. Eight ounce balls. It says it's a five bulky, but it doesn't really seem that bulky. 100% acrylic, and the color is reds and purple. <laughs> I think it's the same thing. Yeah, this is the same thing, but it's just wound up differently. Big old big ones. I've never had any big twist. And then she sent me a big old ball of Red Heart Bunches of Hugs. It's 14 ounces. 948 yards. Uh, it's a wor worsted five and it's just black. So that's awesome. It's a big old ball of black. I've never even seen bunches of hugs. I guess I'm assuming it's baby yarn. It's got baby stuff all over it. And then this one, I don't know how, do not know how to pronounce this. I think it's Haigu, but it's Red Heart High High How do we say it? Charm, <laughs> that word right there, and it's sparkly, black. I think it's called Night Sky. Yeah, that's really pretty. I don't have to say that H word though. Okay, these have got plastic on them. She sent three three packs, so nine. Lime Brand Heartland, 100% acrylic, size four. Color is oh gosh I can't say that <laughs> Guadalupe Guadalupe Mountains oh, no, I don't know this is really pretty green color mint color and like I said she sent nine skeins of it balls and then second to the last we're almost done let me make sure these are all the same color I think they are yes she also sent nine balls of Lime Brand Textures, which I never heard of. It looks really cool. Uh, Desert Sands. Really pretty. And like I said, she sent nine balls of that too. All right, we're almost done. We're down to the last three things. Oh my gosh, this is so much stuff. Me and Devin was both in shock and I was like, I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. And we've been talking about buying a house lately, and we keep putting it off because of uh, financial goals. We're trying to meet 
before we take on taking on a house because you know you never know when you might have to like fix a roof or something so um i was like damn we're gonna have to buy a house just to put all my yarn in it because i'm getting so much yarn <laughs> but the last things that she gifted me were these little kits and i'd seen people get these in um the mystery bags that uh i guess lion brand sells every now and then and this is lion brand kepi I don't know if I say it, but it comes with the yarn, the pom pom, and the hook to make a hat. And she sent me three yellows. Do they have colors? It's a size four. It's 80% acrylic, 20% um, polyester. And this is called lollipop yellow. Three of those. And then she sent me three blue ones called taffy. And the yarn is blue and green and like different textured. And then she sent three red ones called Rose Garden. Pink ones, I guess. And there's the yarn. And the yellow yarn's got white in it. That is everything. <laughs> that is so much stuff. And I appreciate it so much, Teresa, if you're watching this. Thank you so much. <laughs> she mentioned that I could try to sell these at the craft fair, which I might do. I might also give a couple of them to the girl babysit because I think she would like them a lot. Uh... I'm assuming it comes with a pattern. Yeah, crochet instructions inside. So uh, I think she'd like that. With it coming with a pom pom and all that, she might really like that. But, ah, uh, so much stuff. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, honestly. It's gonna have to live in the box that it came in for a little while until I move some things around and potentially I might have to go buy uh, another bookshelf. <laughs> it's just so much yarn. But like I said, I'm gonna use a lot of it and I'm gonna give some of it away for sure because this is a huge, um, happy mail, a huge blessing or whatever you want to call it for me and it, it'll help me help other people does that make sense and yeah I just appreciate it a lot and I can't believe people just send stuff <laughs> to me but I do appreciate it so much and it will all go to good use I promise you that Teresa this is actually really pretty yarn I love the shades in it this is the blue one called taffy I've seen a lot of people get these, but I've never seen anyone actually make one, so it'd be cool to make one and see. I'm assuming it's a kid size hat. I don't know, it doesn't say. I'm sure it says somewhere. But yeah, I think that's all the Happy Mail. <laughs> if, uh, if you sent me... Oh no, it's not. I know I got two postcards. I gotta go find them. I just tore the house up looking for a postcard that someone sent me, and it's in the car, and it's just gone. So I have to share it next time. I, I know I got it, and um... I will share it as soon as Devin gets home tomorrow. I'll share it in Vlogtober tomorrow. <laughs> but this one I got today is from Mary. I had to edit it because I accidentally said her old name. And I don't know if she wanted me to. But it's from New York. Oh gosh, glary. But it's just all the uh, main touristy attractions in New York. It's got um, the Chrysler Building, which always makes me think of Annie. Um, New York Times, the Brooklyn Bridge, Empire State Building, Times Square... Broadway, uh, Manhattan Bridge, Statue of Liberty, and uh, I don't know what this one is. I should, but I don't. <laughs> I would love to go to New York City one of these days. That's actually one place Devin wants to go to. And uh, more specifically, I think where she is from is one place that we both really, really want to go. But that's probably way in the future because um, you know it takes a lot of money to go somewhere like that, especially when you're used to prices from down here and going up there because we've had family that's gone up there and they come back and tell us about how much the price difference of things is and uh gotta budget a lot to go to new york but, um new york would be so fun to go to and i want to go to uh salem i can't say the state that it's in because i always mess it up mass i can't ever say that word massachusetts it's one of those words i can't say but i want to go there on the back of it has Statue of Liberty on it too but I can't show you that because it's got her address on there and the other one the other postcard I got was from the UK and I wanted to show it to you, got to you guys but it's in the car so I will show it to you tomorrow when Devin gets home and I will grab it out but I think that is everything today let me make sure I shared my knit crate I shared my mail my finished objects I don't have any whips but the sun I shared my new pattern I think that's everything. I am currently working on some bags. A bunch of random bags. There's, there's no rhyme or reason to these bags. There, there's a Mickey Mouse one. There's a Peanuts uh, Halloween one made from scraps. There's the Paris ones. There's some really vintage-y fun prints that my mom gave me in a bunch of yarn. There's one that's circusy and uh, just really old looking. 
And then there's one with like puppy dogs on it that looks really vintage. There's just a bunch. There's 20 something sets that I cut out. <laughs> I just got to get to sewing them and hopefully I might try to get them up next weekend. By next weekend. I don't know. It depends on what we do this week. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm excited about this next week. I'm excited but also I'm nervous because of the craft fair. It's my first actual craft fair and I'm, I'm slightly terrified I won't sell anything. <laughs> and I'll just be sitting there for like five hours without a sale. But I gotta try not to think like that. I gotta try to stay positive. <laughs> I'm gonna hop off here and not chat too long because I need to save my chatting for a vlogtober, which I will also be filming today. I already filmed a little for it. I think that's everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next No Catchy Name episode, but also in the next vlogtober, which is coming out later today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I head over to the Etsy shop. There are um, my, now I got four patterns on there. Five, technically, because the pumpkins. And there are three or four bag sets left, just random ones. Um, and then, like I said, there will be an update soon. I'm going to do this regular update, and then maybe one more regular stuff update. And then I'm going to do a huge Christmas bag update. I'm going to be working on that soon. I'm going to try to put like 30 bag sets, I think, up for Christmas. Christmas slash winter. Maybe more. I don't know. <laughs> but that will be my last update this year. The Christmas bags and the winter bags, when they get posted and up and sold and all that, that'll be the last bags until probably the end of January. Because I don't want to be cro or crushing, sewing over Thanksgiving and definitely not Christmas. And uh, January, the first part of January is always kind of rough because it's like recovery from <laughs> the holidays. And uh, so the, probably the middle or the end of January will be the next update. So there's probably going to be only two or three more bag updates this year until uh, the holidays and I'm taking off <laughs> but there are going to be some Christmas crochet patterns coming up I got two in testers right now and then I'm, I got some more in my head that I'm working on getting on paper and then I'll get them out to testers too and I've actually really been enjoying designing patterns and it's another fun way to be creative but also help supplement our income so um, all these little things that I'm doing <laughs> are helping with all of our financial goals and it's making us get one step closer to a house which is our main financial goal uh we gotta take care of all these little things first and then uh the house is like the the light at the end of the tunnel that's what we're working towards and uh it's hopefully maybe i don't want to jinx myself but maybe next year we might be able to get a house but probably for sure 2021 and i want to be in a house before jesse starts kindergarten because i don't want to have to switch his schools um, so, uh, that's our deadline or whatever it has to be before he starts school. <laughs> so 2021 before, uh, what, August that year? Is that when school starts? <laughs> I think August. Uh, that's our cutoff. You know, we got to have a house by then because I, I don't want to have to uproot him, especially in kindergarten because that's the year where he's going to be getting used to the school setting other than pre-K, which is next year. But, um, Anyways, that's Babel. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.